wonder how good this microphone is. Well, I know it's good. It's better, but... I just wonder. I don't think of the most comfortable position to play this. I may have to just the camera angle a little. This might be the best position. As long as I don't move my head around too much. Okay, get started. <clears throat> Hopefully this won't be too bad. This will do a little chill. Resident Evil. Otherwise, it'd be going first. Okay. Alpha team is flying around the forest. I've seen this a hundred times. There are only three Stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know what this is. Movement. What is <clears throat> that might stretch you down for like I have a pretty decent strategy for like a uh for knife, but I don't know about handgun, handgun only. I mean handgun and knife. It's gonna be kind of tricky. I gotta make sure I have enough inventory slots. Plus, I gotta save. Barry, what is it? With the shotgun. Can I 
I'm still gonna go pick up the self defense item. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need... running into the walls. It's amazing it took so damn long. Like I don't know what what was the hold up on the court in this game. I just I don't know. Be nice to grab those handgun bolts. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can get away with them. Success. I need all the handguns I can get. I mean, the handgun bolts. Board up a bunch of them for the tyrant. Actually, that's a super easy dodge right there. I mean, I just ran past them there. I'd rather. Alright, no problem, Just, no problem. I'm just kind of messing around here. How is the sound quality? Is it. Is the microphone better? I just got like a USB hub. Now, is the game audio louder than my voice? You probably head up. You're probably gone by now.
Alright, awesome, awesome. Much better than my built-in camera. I got a USB hub. Alright. But yeah, I don't want to keep you grass. I don't want to keep you, Josh, so... Um, have a good time wherever you're going. Alright, thanks Josh. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see. I feel pretty rested up, so um, this could be a long stream. I think about doing a long stream, so... So I'm gonna be up all night anyway. I think I might be doing too well. Normally I would have had to have used maybe like probably like two herbs by now. Hey Almorn, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh how's how's my microphone quality? Is it better than before? I kind of don't want to keep leaning in to just cover up the light. I might have to. Awesome, awesome. So how have you been, Elmorn? Uh, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to my stream. How have you been? Sorry, the microphone is a little sensitive. You know, I think, I think I, I play this game so much. I think at this point, handgun and knife. Hang on a knife only is now my gonna be in my casual run. <laughs> That's not even me bragging. 
I imagine I'm probably going to have a... Aside from, like, uh, trying to dodge some hunters, I might have a... actually have a much easier time. Because the hardest part of the knife run was, uh, the, the tyrant fight. That was brutal. Awesome, Alborn. Um, did you beat the game on normal or hard? Like, uh, what difficulty did you beat on? Did you beat it on? On easy, no problem, man. This this is it. This is a tough game. So. But it, you know what's funny? At this point, this is actually one of the easier Resident Evil evils for me now. Because I played this so damn much. Especially, like, recently. Over the summer, I played the crap out of this game. You know, you know what, Dalmorn? I thought I was a cutout for the challenge of the, a knife run. Uh, a knife run. I thought, like, no, I'm I, I'm really bad at dodging. I can't do a knife run. I kept telling people, nah, nah, I would never, ever, ever, ever do it. You know? You have to be, you know, at least good at dodging. I'm debating whether I should kill these zombies. Because I, I also want to save my some of my self-defense items for the end. So no, I'll, I'll have to use like a couple of bullets. Now I'm probably gonna knife the dogs. It's a big risk, but but I worry about running into one of these zombies. That's the thing. My best bet is to lure this zombie to the stairs. Kill the other one. See? Just like that. You see, see what I have to do is I have to assess the threats. And a lot of people who try to spear in this, they don't burn the zombies at all. And when I did my knife burn, I didn't burn any zombies. But I think I might have to make an exception here with handgun and knife. Because I'm I am playing on hard mode, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the more troubles of zombies. Like the one upstairs. The one by the save room isn't too bad, but the one upstairs. He always gives me a hard time. I'm not gonna be super fast here, Alborn, so this stream this this stream could go on go on for a while. So I don't know how long you're going to, you're going to be up. But yeah, I plan on this being a mostly all night stream. So it's night time where I'm at. Oh shit! I'm just coming. I gotta kill this one over here very very quickly. I could lure him to the stairs, but I need to run. Long. 
Now I gotta dodge the other zombie, that's fantastic. Wait, wait, wait! No, I didn't. I didn't take too long. Okay, that's that's fair enough. I actually slept all day today. Now that zombie's a pretty easy dodge. Sometimes though, every now and then he'll get me. But I, but yeah, insomnia. I I know how that is, man. I know how to how that is. It really sucks. Like what I what I what I'm doing here is I'm um, I'm doing some strategic some strategic uh, burning. Just only because um, normally I would kill both these zombies through the hallway, but since that that one down the stairs is super easy to dodge, unless I make a really dumb mistake then. Nah, he's taking too much space. I'd rather, I'd rather wait for him to come to the steps where I run past him. And hope he doesn't spit attack me. There we go. Well, I don't mind if he spits attacks me. I just don't want, I just don't want that hit to land. That's the only thing. Now, do I really need to carry the oil and the liner? I kind of feel like I do. In case you're wondering, that's my cat making a guest appearance. She's a little bit of movement around. Hey, Kratos. I do want to keep the herb on me just in case. It's just in case. Just in case I get into a bad situation with the dogs, I want to be able to. I want to be prepared. Oh, that was a close one. Only reason I killed that zombie because I'm going to be coming back to this hallway anyway, so. You know, I'm thinking of just killing the dogs in the time. Though. And then coming back to taking care of that, zom that, that zombie in the hallway there. Um, Sometimes he gets on my nerves. So my usual route is killing that zombie. Yeah, I'll mourn. Like, uh, to take on this game's tougher challenge is just like a constant practice. Like playing, not like, not like playing like a thousand times, but just like a couple of times till you uh, figure out the best route where you'll take the fewest of amount of hits and have to use the least amount of ammo. Well, actually, not not real. <laughs> I'm warned. I'm terrible at dodging. I I am so bad at it. See a lot of people like there's this trick. To, there's a there's a trick to dodging a lot of the zombies, and it's to I need to save handgun ammo. You know, there's gonna be a ton of handgun ammo later, so
there, there's at least uh, 30 to 45 bullets. Um, there's at least 30 to 45 bullets uh, before you fight the tyrant. So I don't know how many handgun bullets it's going to take to kill the tyrant. That's why. I, but now, Al Morn, survival horror can be whatever the what whatever the hell it is, you know. Like, I, I never held uh, the survival horror genre to just, like, has to be one thing and one thing only, otherwise it's bad. It could be anything, man. Now, what, what you think is a good survival horror game, you know... I, I mean, I know I'm just kind of, like, you know, stating the obvious, but, uh, you know, it's like... A good survival horror game is, like, whatever you think is a good survival horror game, you know? That's the best way I can put it. But yeah, normally, normally a lot of players would just go back this way, and uh, and dodge a zombie, the zombie like blocking the locked door. But uh, since I'm bad at dodging, I usually just go through this door, and then go and go the long way around, the safe way. So. I call this my safety route. It takes a little bit longer, but um, it reduces the amount of dodging I need to do. And I use this route. I use this route for my knife run. So I was like so surprised, like no deaths with my with my knife run, you know. But yeah, what I try to do is I try to minimize the amounts of backtracking because backtracking, not more, backtracking is really going to get your ass kicked in the harder modes. On easy, backtracking isn't too but On the harder modes, oh my god. Because if you got to backtrack, that's just more time to, you know. Yeah. It's, it's like, who, who, I mean, who gives a shit? I mean, who gives a shit if I, uh, excuse my language. If it, uh, if on average, on on a stream on average, I'll finish a hard mode playthrough in, like, uh, four hours or so. Now, my average time that I can beat the game is, like, three and a half hours off stream. Sure, why I'm carrying the knife? Because I'm not. I'm not gonna need the knife for a while, actually. Because with the knife run, like I'm trying to think, you don't need the knife with the snake. Um, you don't need. You don't even need the knife with the plant forty two. The only time you need the knife, Al Morn, is with the dogs. If you're doing a knife run, that is the only time in the mansion that you are going to be using the knife with Jill. You know, the only time. Unless you unless you really want to like be brave and uh and fight the crimson head with a knife, but even then, with Jill that is like really risky. Now I might die at the crimson head. I make no guarantees. Because last time the crim Crimson Head almost got me. Well, actually, with Jill, it was like easy. He just hit me once and then he grabbed me. That's what I wanted to do. But I gotta make sure that I keep the knife on me this time. Otherwise, I gotta. But yeah, it's funny, Elmore. I like I actually like playing hard mode better than normal mode because I'm more used to this difficulty. Now you see that door on the left, you know, I normally don't unlock it. Because then it means I gotta dodge those stupid zombies and the Crimson Head and I don't wanna do it. 
like, I mean, how long does, like, running through here take? Like, an extra, like, what does that add? Like, an extra minute or two? But yeah, Almorn, what what have you been up to? Like, play, play any, uh, well, besides uh, beating Remake twice, uh, play any other games lately? Um, what have you been up to? Sorry, this is me tapping on my controller. Now it's, it's good to use the key on this door. A lot of like, uh, you know, it's lost speedrunners. I think I think they might use this door to just to like use the key and then not go in the room because you don't really when you're playing as Chris. The only thing in this room is the on hard mode is the dagger. Because I don't want it. I don't need it. But the handgun is, is definitely going to make the tyrant battle so much easier. Are you trying to finish um, Almorn? So, are you starting from the beginning all the way to the newer ones? Because um, Almorn, I got to tell you, there's. You have ten games to play. Ten. Now that's um, direct Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is basically the original, obviously. Um, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, Revelations, Code Veronica, Zero, and Remake. So that's ten. So as far as I know, you have one down. No, that's right. Going this way. But yeah, anyone just joined in, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm calling this practice because I'm debating whether I should save this or not. I'm debating. Because I'm like pretty much out of slots. Save slots right now. I need to get another memory card. So I'm just debating. Debating whether, whether I should... You know, I could stab this zombie twice and I could... Zero is awesome. Zero is the toughest one, though. Oh, jeez. I'm hoping that that zombie's dead. That took way too long. You better be dead, otherwise I would have wasted uh, two self-defense. I know that seemed like an incredible waste, but uh, as long as that zombie's dead, then I don't have to worry about dodging them anymore. That's that's all I care about. Good. Although I wonder if I could have done that, that with more uh, knife swipes. I kind of feel like I'm doing a bit too well. I'll come back to this later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna save Richard because Richard is gonna be a really good distraction for the snake boss.
unfortunately. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, careful, careful, Kratos. My cat. Sorry, don't swear so far. I don't want him disconnecting anything. You, you know how cats can be. They, uh, they kind of get into places. Fantastic. Come on, Kratos. But yeah, Zero is an awesome game, please, for the love of God, Kratos. Um, that's a, that's why I named my cat. Find a spot. Find a spot. That's not that's not near my computer right now. Cause, uh... I should do something that that I could call a cat run, which is basically you have to tr try to play this game while a cat is trying to get your attention. And no pausing is allowed. <laughs> now that will be an interesting challenge. Oh shit. My setup is very fragile. Just the slightest movement could disconnect something. Come on. Okay, saying it with my legs crossed is like isn't as comfortable as it sounds. I'll come back to the other side of the mansion later. But yeah, I'm warned. I, re I highly recommend playing Zero on easy. Because it's a real pain in the ass kind of game on the harder difficulties. I mean, the, in the inventory system in Zero isn't too bad. Um, you get used to the inventory system. I mean, once you play it a few times, you're like, all right, I know what to do. You know, where to leave items. It's it's not too bad. Um, pl trying to play the game on hard, it's like, you better make sure you don't make any big mistakes, you know, because they will cost you way more. Like, mistakes in, like, uh, Resident Evil Zero are so damn common. Oh, that's right. Now I now remember. Please. Makes me nervous when I cut when my cat gets up, you know. Makes me think he's gonna start like crawling around here and like disconnect a bunch of things. This this is gonna suck. This zombie might bite me. But if he does, that's fine. <laughs> Get off, get off. There we go. Just gotta hurry up. Hurry my ass up over here. Oh god. That's okay, that's okay, we're I'm fine. That did hurt, though. I gotta admit, that did hurt. See what I see? What I mean about being bad at dodging?
Uh, I'm just I'm just waiting on my cat to make a move right now. So this is really making me nervous. Sure, that's all I need. I know it seems like a little excessive, but I'm carrying so much peace. Kratos, you'll make me feel better if you sit still. It's gonna be somewhere around here. I think more than lure him to the stairs. If I lure him to the stairs, so he might be easier to dodge. He's gotten me a few times, right there. Go ahead and grab that. But yeah, I'm gonna need all the hanging hanging bullets I can get. Yeah, maybe I picked a bad time to stream because right now, um, I'm pretty sure like a lot of Resident Evil fans are checking out one of the more popular Resident Evil streamers. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not doing this to try to get like a ton of follows and like it. I'm not like a viewer of war, you know, like, like if I don't get like a ton of viewers, I'm a failure, you know, it's just like, I'm going to burn this guy. Actually, I didn't need to do that. Oh well. My is Kratos. Like, no, 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 not that way, not that way. Cats have a... <laughs> oh, thanks, Al Morn. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, you know. Like a lot of, um, like what I try to do with the stream is just, um, I looked at, I watched a couple of streams and I, 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 I took mental notes, like to see what's good to do, what isn't, you know, like what you should never do is you, you should never get mad at viewers, um, like lose your temper and start yelling. That's very bad. Um... Like, like a few do's and don'ts of the streaming. Like, don't not interact with people. Unless, unless you're a super popular streamer, then no one really cares if they get ignored or not. Because I'm aware that um, a lot of the more popular streams, like, like where the chat room is is crazy busy, you know, like people aren't even bothered if a streamer can't respond to them. Because it, it comes with the territory, you know, I'm kind of glad, I'm actually kind of glad that I don't have like a super busy chat room. You know, because then I'd feel bad if I couldn't respond to people. But, but yeah, but, <laughs> more than, I appreciate it. Uh, oh, come on, Kratos. I don't know why he needs why he needs to like you know what I need to do what I need, probably need to do I should I should probably put like a protective like something over all my hookups right now you see I'm I'm working on it I'm basically no more I'm basically working on a shoestring budget which is zero to no budget. Oh my god. I shot off his leg. <laughs> I 
haven't done that in a long time. Actually, I don't think I've shot a zombie's leg off in years. But you know what the cool thing is? He won't come back as a crimson head. I just remembered. If you shoot off a zombie's leg, he won't come back as a crimson head. Now, that zombie is an easy dodge, but I'd rather just get him out of the way. Yeah, I try to have, like, a really chill atmosphere when it comes to streaming, and that's another thing. Um, like, if you have, like, a chill atmosphere and, like, a, a good attitude, then, uh, you know, people won't care if your stream is, like, a really, like, super low budget. But but I'm I'm just I'm just doing what I can with the um, with what little resources I have. I'm hoping out more, and I'm hoping to keep doing this because because I'm, because I want to like improve the stream. I want to get better better stuff. You know, that way I want to um, worry about having, like, sound problems. I want to get, like, better equipment. Um, what do I need? What do I need? Okay, I need to grab the mask. I mean, hopefully, eventually, when I get a job, because whether I like whether I uh, like it or not, uh, I'll mourn in the next few months. I need to get like full time work, which uh, may like I don't know how it's gonna affect my streaming schedule. Why well, don't well basically I don't have any streaming schedule, but um. But yeah, you know, I was actually watching, like, a, I actually, actually checked out, like, another stream I was curious about, and this person was actually doing a drunk stream, and they were making, they were making more money than I've seen in the past, uh, than I've seen in a year, you know. I'm like, dear God. And no, I'm not, I'm not in this for money. It, it's like, to me, it's like the idea of getting paid to play a game, that's absurd. That is absurd, unless you're a game tester. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, um, just saying that, like, it doesn't feel right to me. Because if, um, people are gonna give to your channel, I mean, you should try to think of what ways to, like, give back to the people, you know. And that's the only reason I have my donate button for, because I wanna, I wanna see what I can do with this channel. Like, um, I wanna leave it, leave it up to everyone. Anyone who wants to donate, I uh, want to leave it up to them to decide if they want to invest. Um, but yeah, I'm actually thinking, I'm more, I'm actually thinking about getting like a one of the lesser known Resident Evil games called Dead Aim. Ah, oh, crap! I gotta dodge the zombie twice. Fantastic. Like I can, I know I can find it for fairly cheap. So, because next month, next month I want to go all out with with horror games, not just Resident Evil games, but Silent Hill, Metal Frame. I want to make the, the next month a really big. Uh, But yeah, uh, but yeah, look forward to next month because I want to, because I want to try to like push as many like uh, horror games as possible. So that means I gotta practice uh, Fatal Frame, and I gotta like reacquaint myself with some of the Silent Hill games. 
Now there's no rule for me about not using first aid sprays. But I'm going to see if I can do this without using them. I'm going to collect them just in case I get into trouble. But I'm going to see... I'm going to do as much of this game as possible without using that. Uh, like, like, here's the thing I'm warned. With my setup, with my computer, I don't think I can do, like, a really long marathon, though. That's the only thing, because I worry about my computer sometimes. I need at least, uh... I want to get... I'm still debating on whether I should save it or not, so I'm going to grab, like, a... Some ink ribbons. Just in case I decide, like, yeah, maybe I should save it. But yeah, since this is a oh god, it almost bit me. That was so stupid. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. That was lucky. That was just dumb luck. But I'm actually liking this handgun and knife so far. Like, like the mansion has gotten easier at this point. It has gotten easier. I mean. It says a lot that in my, uh, my, my knife run on normal mode, um, it says a lot the fact that, um, that I didn't die on normal mode, so I'm gonna be doing a knife run on hard mode, just to see. Hold on, I'm gonna... Oh. Crossing my legs is... Kinda hurts. But yeah, I don't know about this Halloween day. Actually... You know, I'm saving... I'm saving Halloween, Almorn. I'm saving Halloween for, for a game. The only game that ever scared me. When I was a kid. Ever since, like, no horror game has ever really scared me. And I don't really play horror games to scare me. I play horror games because some of them are really good. Like this one, for example. I rather do. No, I gotta make some, some room in my inventory. Oh, damn it. That's okay, I could always... You see, those kind of spits will soften, like, a uh, Soften up the jail's health. So I kind of try to avoid getting spit on. Ah, oh, that threw me in caution. Are you kidding me? I'm just trying to save as many uh, herbs as possible.
Sorry, I'm just saying someone a message. I figure, um, it's not too big a deal. Just not many people are watching right now anyway, so. I know I'm not being super professional here. As long as you can hear me on the mic microphone. But yeah, I look forward to Halloween because I'll stream it, but I want to stream the game, the only game that ever scared me as a kid. And you're going to probably laugh at it. Ugh. Okay, so, alright, all I need to do is just go through the door once. Oh my god, I can't believe that zombie didn't get me. I might kill him later. I'll think about it. So second to last door. Never play this game on the Japanese version because the hint that you need for this puzzle, you need to be able to read it in English. Unless you already know the solution, you know, then playing, if you never play this game, if anyone's never played this game, like uh, playing it, the Japanese version is a bad idea. Especially with this puzzle. I'm not gonna fret too much if I get bit by this next zombie. It's the only time I have to go through here. Actually, no, I could actually, I could just run. Go back the other way. No, no, I need to practice. Because of my knife run, I have to see with my knife run, I have to dodge that guy right there. So it's better to just practice dodging him. Otherwise I would have gone the other way around. Well, I'm actually almost done with the match in here. See, like, I feel like the mansion on hard mode is the hardest part. It's the most time consuming. Oh, I forgot. But yeah. I'm trying to think, um, I need to stream Zero again. I need to do that. Probably Zero on hard mode, maybe. But, um, probably do normal mode for a bit to warm up. Just for the route. Warm up on normal mode for the route. Now, you know, I probably should have looked up how many hack and bullets it takes to kill a tyrant. Probably should have looked up. But, uh, Wait a minute, he's just standing there, I can dodge him. Never mind. Okay, he's dead. It's this one, this one always gives me such a hard time. I know I should probably use this opportunity to, like, practice the dodging. So, uh... Cause Knife Run, I gotta do a lot more of it. I don't recommend ever staying on caution. Ever. Cause one zombie bite, it will, could throw me into danger. 
either red caution or danger, and that's really bad for Jill. Jill can die at, at red caution. That's why I like using Chris. He could take he could take he could tank the hits, you know. You know, I just remembered I gotta get back into streaming to code Veronica. All I gotta do here is just, uh, I'm gonna unlock the key, but I'm gonna leave it there, because my route usually has me coming back this way anyway, so. Now I, now I kinda wish I had a backtrack to the, to the item box to grab a, put, put away my handgun. No. I still need to declare that zombie. Because I know that one zombie in the damn hallway is going to hit me again. I just know it. He's gonna hit me again. Cause I, cause I gotta grab the herbicide. You know, you know, I could kill him. I could do that. Cause I, I think I just. I think he's uh, just one of those zombies that I'm going to have that either I'm going to dodge him or I'm not going to dodge him. He's just going to be that that kind of zombie. So. With knife run. Damn it. God. I just needed to reset. I just needed to reset the zombie. That's why I went. Okay. I 
I actually found healing myself with the herbs upstairs, so here's one what, what I'm gonna do. No, actually no I need to run I need to run do some running back and oh wait, crap. I'm not gonna need this till the Okay, here's the one with what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab two herbs. No, but then I should place the herb side, shouldn't I? Alright, I'm gonna grab two herbs. Place the herbs, I grab two herbs, run back upstairs, heal and appeal myself. I'm gonna be coming back here anyways. Or not. I might not. I I technically technically I don't need to really grab any more oil. I don't know, I just I, I just feel better grabbing it. Because yeah, there's um, there's herbs like out there's herbs that you can use outside. And that's where I plan on going, so I don't have to like waste any heals. Because I'm always prepared to get attacked. Like you always have to prepare for the worst when you're playing this game, because it could go either way. Even even speedrunners have like bad runs. Actually, technically, the zombies don't come out until you grab the mask. So. But yeah, anyone just joining in and welcome to the stream. Hope you're all, all having a good night. But you know, like, when it comes closer to Halloween, I should probably ask people what their plans are, or what they like doing on Halloween. to me those zombies aren't gonna bust through the window until you grab the the mask so I'm just gonna go and run outside. But yeah, I'm I'm just kind of surprised I got to attacked by that one zombie in the hallway. I mean, I mean he took so many damn bullets. You know, you know what I should have done? I should have, like, when he shot me, I should have ran around him. 
I mean, when I shot him, when he was that close, and he tried to lunge at me and didn't grab me, I should have ran around him and then shot him. That's what I should have done. You know, I could do this afterwards, but I just don't want to take the chance. So I'm probably, like, wasting time here when I could just come, like, do all that stuff. Grab the mask, have the zombies bust in. And then come out here to heal. Now, as far as I know, on hard mode, you can only you can only use the, the, these ribs outside here, like only twice, as far as I know. Oh yeah, anyone just joining in? For the for the crimson head, all I'm gonna need is a knife and a battery pack, which I already have. So I just I'd just be really embarrassed if I died on him. I wouldn't be surprised if I did, because it's kind of hard. Because um, with with uh, knife runs, I've seen like uh, I usually see people like some people like can kill them with a knife, I, and I guess I can. It'll be tough, but I think I can handle it. Uh, thank you for the follows, Zen Panda. Thank you so much. I much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night tonight, or if you're in the UK, hope you're having a good morning. <laughs> what am I doing? Every now and then you might just forget just a little thing. Like sometimes you do something over and over again, you just kind of accidentally skip over things. That... You see, this backtracking I'm doing on more, you know, it's it's very safe because there's no there's no dodging I need to need to do. I I, I cleared out the zombies that I needed to clear out, so just don't step over there. Awesome, Zen. Panda, awesome. So, how are you doing today, tonight, uh, Zen Panda? I'm gonna need two of these with me. Like in the future, when I do like knife runs or handgun the knife runs, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not even going to worry about refilling the... When I kill the last zombie that I need to, I'm not even going to worry about refilling the canteen until I get to the... the guardhouse. This, this. By the way, guys, I'd like to point out that I haven't saved yet, so... And I won't. There's usually a place I, I like to reserve for saving, so... Battery pack and knife swing. That's a mistake I made on my knife only run, where I thought that uh, that the crimson head was only going to go down with a battery pack. Awesome, awesome, Zen. I appreciate it, man. That's multitasking. That is multitasking. I can get behind. Awesome.
So what kind of artwork you're doing? I don't want to distract you too much, uh, Zen Panda, with your artwork, but uh, what kind of artwork are you doing? So, uh, you know, I could, I could just shoot, I, I could just shoot him like once. A handgun bullet, I, I guess, is just as good as uh, a knife swipe. It'll save me. It'll save me the trouble of having to like uh, get close to him and swipe him. Okay, so there's two herbs up there. I feel like I'm gonna need. Uh, yeah, this should be good. So I'm just um. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to like uh since this is my first time doing Hag of the Knife, I've done Knife Run before. It's archived on my stream and also archived on my YouTube, so Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that um I do absolutely everything right and don't screw it up. And I wanna try to do this without aid sprays. Oh, you're an animator. That's that's cool. That is awesome. Like a lot of my friends are artists. Artists who own cats too. It seems to um. But yeah, I I always like meeting an artist. Actually, I might be carrying around a bit too many items. Now, I might I might get bit by the snake. And if I do, then uh, watch. This game is going to force me. This game is so gonna force me to, uh. What do you call it? To get the void. Get, to get the antidote myself, sorry. Um, lost my train of thought. Oh, you just got a small dog three weeks ago? That's awesome. Yeah, pets are pretty good companies, then. I have my cat right over here. I'm, I'm no artist, but, uh, I don't know, I just like cats. Oh, God. Can I think one map? Oh, crap, I forgot the key. Where is my head at? Like, I may seem like I'm playing really so an amateurist, but I can assure you I played this game on the harder modes, Real Survivor, which is actually not that that difficult. Um, invisible enemy, enemy mode on hard. I'm without ace sprays, I'm particularly proud of that achievement. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm well aware that other people play this game better than me, I'm like, okay, cool. But I don't really let it get to me, because why should it, you know? Alright, I'm, I'm hoping the zombie only, like, uh... 
the crimson head only grabs you maybe maybe once or twice. It grabs me more than like bites me, I mean. And throws me into like red caution. I'm really worried about that. Now I'm gonna kinda kick myself kick it myself because I feel like um I'm gonna miss one of those herbs. Because what I like to do, I don't like to, like, after after the snake, I usually like to um, just run straight to the Crimson Head. Then after the Crimson Head, I go straight, go straight out of the mansion. Now, last time when my knife run, I got bit by the snake. I guess I, I, I guess I froze. Oh, that's awesome, Zen. That's awesome. As long as the pets behave, you know, like, I've actually tried to live with someone with a dog. Oh, God. That dog was a terror. That dog was so horrible. Sweet dog, but it just, it was one of the worst people. Alright, don't get bit, Jill. I usually don't get bit, it's just uh, time. I get mixed up because with because Joe and Chris are standing in different positions. That's a thing. Because I alternate between playing Chris and Jill sometimes, so. Oh god, I hesitated. Damn it! Barry's not gonna save her. Now now I gotta Oh, I hesitated. Why did I hesitate? No! Barry's not gonna save her. She has to be kill herself. Oh, am I poisoned? Because I just I don't need serum. Naturally, naturally. Now I gotta waste time. Actually, technically, no, no, no. It's it's, be it's better to when you're playing hard mode. You know, you're you're barely gonna get any blue herbs. God, you know, I I grabbed. I was. I mean, why did I hesitate? I just kind of froze there for a second. You know, my cat. You know, my cat never hisses at any anyone or anything. They will actually. The only time my dog has ever hissed is at a as a at a big dog. That was the only time I ever see my cat hiss. I don't want to get to the poison downstairs, because then that's two zombies in the dodge. So maybe I can try to practice dodging here. Is there enough for a few usage? Like, I count two, but I don't know if it's like three. Let me just check to make sure. Now I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Watch now one of the zombies. I'll just, I'll just put the... I'll just put the... Self-defense on. Problem solved. I hate you, zombie. I 
fantastic. Now I gotta run upstairs. Because even on invisible mode, I don't I don't get bit by the snake. If you guys can believe that, on invisible mode, I don't get bit by the snake. I I have the archive to prove it too. My on my YouTube channel. I feel like if I run upstairs, I'm not to waste another. Unless I could be quick, I could lure the zombie to the stairs. But I'll see if I could do that. Nah, never mind. It's, it's that other zombie over here. Oh no! That was bad. Ah, uh, that is not good. Not good at all. You see, I'm more than I told you I'm bad at dodging. Oh, I should have I should have waited to use the those herbs after. Cause my routes, uh, my regular routes doesn't have me. My my usual routes on hard mode when I'm using all the weapons, I just take out all the zombies there. So I might think about clearing that one zombie that bit me there. Next time I play. Next time, that zombie's going down. Such a jackass. Man. That's not good to go into this fight with it. On green caution. Jill Jill is so is so delicate. She just On Resident Evil 3, like, Jill is a tank. She can take so many hits. She takes a ton of hits in Resident Evil 3. <sighs> I'm still fuming about, about that zombie that grabbed me from behind. But hopefully in future playthroughs, like when I get to the tower, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the tower with the handgun. So the reason I'm dodging so many zombies is I wanna try to save like handgun ammo for the tower battle. So me thinks me thinks I should probably uh Just kill that zombie up the stairs. That then just to, that, that's just a precaution in case they get bit by the snake. Wish me luck, guys. I did this before on the first trial with the knife run. Yes! He grabbed me! Awesome! Yes! I am so glad he grabbed me. I, that's awesome. Ah, yeah. Now I didn't have to, I didn't have to waste any healing items. I might just do this without eight sprays. And then when I upload this to YouTube, I'm gonna call it, um, if I beat it, by the way, if I beat it. I'm, I'm gonna call it, uh, Handgun Knife Hard No Aid Sprays. But yeah, I mine up with Jill, it's like, it's hard for me not to use Aid Sprays, though. With Chris, it's much easier not to use Aid Sprays, but with Jill, it's like... Yes, I needed that. That was a good win for me. 
Now I just gotta avoid getting bit too much by the dogs. Oh crap, shortcut. But yeah, anyone just joined in, welcome to the stream. I uh, hope you're all having a good night. I will be, I will be streaming pretty much, uh, it's Pacific, I'm in the US uh, Pacific time, so I'm gonna be streaming all night long. Like, after I beat this, I may just mess around with, um, my knife run with Chris. Because I have a, I, I have a separate save for, like, a knife run with Chris on normal mode. Or, for you guys, I might, I might just show you, nah. Not because I saved it before the second tyrant battle. That's not as interesting to watch with the knife run as the first. But eventually I want to do, like, a knife run on hard mode. Which, I think I can do it. I just worry about the amount of healing items is all. And we will never see that zombie again. Yeah, whenever I play this game, like, I'm not trying to brag here, but I'm probably only going to do, like, handgun knife only, because at, at, at this point, like, hard mode, like, I got bored of playing this on hard mode on the invisible enemy. That's how that's how bad it was. I, I just got bored. So that's, that's the only reason I did a knife run. It wasn't because other people were doing it. I just got bored. But yeah, I'm picking up the ace sprays just in case. Because if anything, if I run out of healing items, I might just have to use the 8 spray by the end of the game. There we go. And that was easy, I was just kind of winging it there. Hope you're all having a, having an awesome night, you know. And even more, I hope you all you're all ha gonna have like a good weekend too. Just checking who's on the chat right now. Ugh. I just saw something. I've, I've always wanted to like. Um, I learned how to write by trade, but I, but I've always wanted to like learn how to like draw better, because I, because I have like stories in my head for like I have graphic novel stories, and I would love to like one of these days work with an artist or either that or just like do the art myself because. Now, if she hits me, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'll just, I'll just use one of my healing items. You know, I kind of don't want to. I just, I'll just uh, grin and bear it. Normally, I like to save on the guardhouse. Um, ah, that's awesome. Zen, Zen, do you write, or or do you or you do or do you work with like uh, writers, and and you do the illustrations and animation.
Yeah, the best I can do is then, the best I can do is, um, the best I can do is, like, I look at uh, images, I look at images and just, like, I don't, I look at images and I copy the images, like, by just by looking at them, like, like, my obsessive, my obsessive compulsion with, like, certain, like, details and, and certain things, you know, has helped give me, gives me a lot of patience to do, like, what do you call it, um, contour, like, contour, just looking at an image and contouring it. Or just like um, my art, my art teacher that I had in uh, college. Like I didn't go to school for art, but I, I took an art class. Uh, he taught me how to sketch. It was really awesome. But yeah, anyone just joining in, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a good day. Uh, I'm just gonna go and mix these. So I'm probably going to go straight to the spider room. So. Then before I go to the item room, I just like to get that room out of the way. Ow. You know what, Lisa, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna have a pounding headache. Thanks a lot. I gotta play the rest of the game with a pounding friggin' headache. Damn you, Lisa. Damn you. Alright. It's always. Yep. That's pretty much what I, what I was expecting. You know, the cool thing is, like, a uh, handgun and knife, what I like about handgun and knife run, I don't have to worry about, like, grabbing the key items to grab the magnum or the shotgun. Make room for the shotgun and the grenade. Like, it feels like it goes a little bit faster. But I say it feels like it. But yeah, like, like I know, I know basic drawing, like how to like sketch stuff that I look at. My my friend told me that that I should just like sketch like stuff like, just like fan art, because that's how she started as an artist. She just did sketched a lot of fan art, and eventually she was able from doing fan art, she was she eventually grew from there and started um, doing her own. Thing. I, you know what I would love to do? Like, I would love to do Resident Evil fan art. In fact, in fact, guys, in case you're curious, actually... Like, anyone who's, like, I guess not using a mobile device... Yeah, yeah, as a pan, it was good advice. I actually have, like, an entire, like, uh... A notebook with like uh just stuff like just I did pro work from anime images because what I like about anime is like the lines are simple you know so that was fun you know I... wait was that no oh, that's shocking shows and what is stopping me well I don't know like I got into the street I got into street and I enjoy streaming I want to do it like. But yeah, like, like I don't know, like I've um, like Zen, I've I've had like some ups and downs like over the past um, year or two, like like there are times where I didn't feel like doing anything, no playing games, no drawing, like nothing, you know, it just and that's not a good excuse. I'm aware of that. But, you know, I know that's not a good excuse. I know I should probably just push myself, you know. To, to like do more writing and um, just like kind of sketching out stuff just to practice. 
that way if I talk if, that way I feel like if I can talk to an artist, you know. Do anime stuff. Oh that's right, um Zen. Like like I know um I know actually someone was uh doing like a stream where they were doing artwork. I didn't know I wasn't sure if that was allowed on Twitch. I'm not a professional artist, I'm just like just a beginner. Like, I don't think I've... I've never done digital art either, though. That's the thing. But what would, what would stop me from doing digital art? You know, that, that might be a cool opportunity, though. You, you gave me an idea. I guess I could mess around with, like... Because I've been trying to think of like different things I could do with the stream too. You, you snakes better not poison me. I need that blue herb for like later. I'm actually I'm a little bit more worried about the spider. You know, sometimes a spider might get you now and then. Because this is all you get. So I'm warned if you're still watching. This is all you get. Just that blue herb and that green blue herb in the spider room and that and that room sucks. Anime of my own doing, so so basically what I would have to do. So what you're saying, Zen, like, um, I could practice messing around with, like, animes, and, but it can't be any copyrighted, like, uh, anime characters, right? I'm just assuming that. I'm assuming, like, it's, I guess it's okay to draw as long as it's not, like, you're not doing any copyrighted material. Short anime. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean, Zen. Like I said, like I'm only a beginner. I'm not really like the. God, it's so ugly. Look at it. Actually, in this room, I usually close my eyes to kill the spider. Since I can't do that, because I don't have the shotgun. Actually, I really want to grab the green herb over here. Ugh, I hate that, that it made that noise. That was so disgust creep. I know that was that was an acid spit, basically. Spiders freak me out, guys. They just all oh, your own creation. Yeah. I guess I would have to practice a lot in order to be able to think up stuff on my own. Use my imagination. Yeah, I, I still gotta practice a lot though. Like with this game, you know, it took me a while to be able to get to the point where I could do this game like handgun and like knife only. But just on normal mode so far. And by the way, guys, I still haven't saved, so I'll probably save before the plan. Though I kind of don't want to. I feel like it'd be kind of exhilarating not to save. I think someone actually told me like um, they would stop watching my stream. Like I did a stream once, uh, no saves on hard mode. I, no, it was invisible enemy hard mode, and uh, he said that he would stop watching if I saved. So that ended up turning into like a no save run. I just got. There's just one zombie I just want to take out. That's all. 
So far, so good. I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. Actually, I have a one story that's um, is kind of loosely inspired by me and my brothers. The relationship I have between me and my brothers. So that's been swirling around in my head for a while. I even have like a like I just imagine like how how it would be styled stylized too. You know? But I want it to be like a story like that's not like it that never gets repetitive. It's more like a story that uh, that you never know what's going to happen next. That's those are the kind of stories I love, where you don't know, you don't know what to expect. It's just oh, it's a little cutscene with Barry. Getting kind of warm. Jill. Barry. I oh, that Barry. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, then my artist friend, she's uh, she she just took a position as an art teacher in a in a high school school district, so she's gonna be really busy. Isn't that zombie coming out? That is so weird. The zombie usually comes out, then that's killed. Oh, when it, when I come back, that's when he comes out. I'd rather take care of, if that's the case, I'd rather just take care of them now. I want to save this. I don't care if I sacrifice a uh, healing item. Come on. Gotta love auto aim, guys. You gotta love auto aim. I need to, like to get this guy out of the way. But yeah, um, I would say, like, out of this entire game, aside from, like, having to fight the plant boss, um, actually, I don't even need to fight the plant, I just remembered. And by the way, guys, um, I have killed the plant with a knife with Jill. And that's art, uh, that's currently archived on my stream, um, that's currently archived on my channel. You know, you know, I did, I, you know what, Zen? I don't, I don't like to try to solicit like other artists, you know, because I know they have very bu busy schedules. But um, but you know, I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool to like, um, I don't know, befriend like an artist who has like a little bit more free time, you know. Because a lot of the artists I know, they just they're just busy, crazy busy. Wait, is there any rule against that? Oh, I don't need the self-defense. So. so there's no rule against me using it. I remember, like, uh, one time I had, like, a... Like, what got me into, like, wanting to, like, just get it back into practice drawing, um... I was lined up to work with like an artist, but uh, she was way too busy. 
or she just didn't get around to doing anything, so... I don't know how, how... I don't know if that's too loud. And if it is too loud, I apologize. Um, Everything away. I'm gonna bring an herb just in case one of the sharks bites me. Some of that lovely oil. Now, I don't know why it gives you like so much oil here. I mean, there's only like three zombies in the entire guardhouse. Sometimes the damn sharks will throw Jill into like a uh, caution. Every now and then, though, every now and then the sharks will take a bite. And I don't, I won't even call it like a um, random number generator either. But yeah, Zen, uh, how long have you been doing art, like uh, an animation? Like, I'm guessing Zen, I'm guessing you went to school for that. And if you did, bravo, bravo. Sometimes I always like to check the my inventory over and over again. Just to make sure I didn't forget anything. So if you see me constantly check the inventory, like, just to have it. You know, I would turn my fan on if my microphone wasn't a little bit more sensitive to, like, other noises. Because I recently just uh, bought a USB hub. So I can have some extra ports for my, uh microphone. So I'm steadily improving my stream. I'm steadily I'm steadily trying to improve my stream. Oh that's awesome Zen. That is so awesome. Like up Zen, I hope I'm not distracting you too much. Because I know like you're working on something right now. Um I got a question. Like what kind of artwork do you do? Like why do you do like uh, an why no animation but aside from animation like what do you like to do do you like to do backgrounds um, character design or do you like to do it all The most exciting part of the game, pushing boxes. You're not you're not playing a Resident Evil game if you're not handling a crank crank or uh or pushing a box, then you're not playing a Resident Evil game. Oh, okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, Zen. I didn't want to distract you, distract you too much from your, from your artwork. But yeah, anyone just joining in, welcome to the stream. You're all having a good day. Like, like I am pumped. I am in a good mood, and for once, I'm not sleepy during a stream. That is so strange. For some reason, I know you can probably hear that, guys. My email notifications. For some reason... Like, tonight, Twitch has been, like, uh, sending, like, two email notifications. That a streamer is streaming. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Zen, do you, do you have, like, um... Like, I assume, like, uh, this is a stupid question, but I assume, do you have, like, uh... Like, a Deviant Art, like, anywhere that you post your artwork? Be kind of cool if, like, anyone else on the stream is curious to check, to check, um, the kind of stuff that you do. Like, feel free, like, I don't mind if people advertise on my channel. Whether it be their own channel or artwork. About to. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Oh, come on. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. You know, I remember one time, that this is after playing this game after like the 20th time, um, like I had the pressure go all the way up to 95 and I barely made it, even though I've done that puzzle so many times. Oh, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> 